Welcome to all the uh, many uh, enthusiasts, uh, classic car guys. Okay, so uh, as you saw yesterday, we got the engine started. This was after a problem. We'd, we'd started it on the Saturday, and then also there'd been this problem with the valve where um, <clears throat> the reamer that he'd used, is, as I'd said, was 20 years old, and it was 0 0.003 or something under. So in fact, this is why, but he'd been using it for 20 years and I guess, you know, they wear out eventually. But it just shows you, and this is this guy that uh, what he doesn't know is to say, what he doesn't know about him is not worth knowing, but we all make mistakes and uh, he was very uh, apologetic about it, but I'm, I mean, it shit happens, you know. Anyway, um, so we went out today, we've actually drove the car only about a kilometre because obviously I've got no plates on it, it's not tested. And I have a neighbour next door who's a bit of a dick, so uh, I don't want to call the police on me or whatever. He probably wouldn't, but I don't want to take a chance. And um, so I'm going to show you around. We've put the uh, part of the interior in. It's not done yet. We just I've just kind of mocked it up more than anything else. But just to give you a look at how it's going to look, and I think it's going to be very nice. Um, we still have to sort out the situation with the seats folding, but I've come up with an idea for that. I'm going to use a cam so that they, they come up on a spring, <clears throat> but that will be in a future uh, video. So just for, so for tonight, I'll, I'll show you what we've been up to, and a couple of quick shout outs. Um, there's a, a guy called Ben, who's just, he's had a, he's had a channel for a little while, but he's, he's just rebuilding a mini. He's got one on the road, and he's got another one in the garage that he's doing. His name's Ben, and it's called Mini Madness. Um, so it's, uh, it's Mini Restoration, Part one or something, I think it is. So it's episode one. Uh, Mini Madness. Uh, ben is his name. Uh, Josh, we don't need to worry about giving him shout outs anymore. He's got over a thousand subscribers. I don't know how it jumped up so quick. But good luck to him, you know, it's really good news. And, and everybody's getting around him to get him bits and stuff. So that's good news. And he'll be getting the parts from me that, I, that was in this car when I bought it, which he's quite happy with and red calipers. He, I got an email from him yesterday, he wants some red. I thought they might be red. So I'll have to get the special um, 800C paint for that. And really the, the last one is, is the two guys I really want to shout out though is Mini Madness Ben. Uh, I watched his video today. Um, and the other one is Piper Doug. Uh, he lives up in the prairies up in Canada. Really nice fella. You can tell he's uh, Scottish. He's got a very uh, a cracking sense of humour. And I used to work with a lot of Canadians in the oil business, so I know what the Canadians are like. They're, they're, I suppose they have to be being out in the boom docks a bit. But he's just finished his um, rotisserie, made a cracking job of it, and he's doing some other bits and pieces. I mean, this Mini really, I would have said it was on beyond economical repair, the condition he had it in. But now he's fixed the roof and a few other bits. I guess nothing is not, you know, everything's repairable and good on him. So well done, Doug. And, uh, let's get, try and get round him and get some more uh, uh, subscriptions and some more views. He's getting quite a few views, but his subs are not very good at the moment. And I think he's on episode three. So, um, yeah, that's it really for the shout out. So, I'll just take you around and I'll show you what we're up to. So, to let you see how it's going to look. So, you can see the front's all on. Um, we're, we're just basically, the, the seats are not in fully, but you can see there how they're going to look. The, the back ones are just tucked in, you can see they're not in properly. But it just gives you an idea and you can see the backboard there is a, is a little bit uh, out of shape, it's, it's a bit too long. But uh, I think it's going to look gorgeous in there. Even the side ones are not in yet, which I've got, I'll show you. And obviously the dash is not in and I'll show you the reason why. But the carpets uh, start to go in, obviously the, the one across the strengthening box is not. You can see how that's going to look. The, the woods to go on it yet and obviously this one's not on at all yet uh, to show you the boot um, so let me just open the boot up and I'll I'll show you what we're going to do there this was actually is going to go in here like this and you can see that this is and this is the cover for the tank so it's going to look nice which fits in there now I don't, this was in the car when I got it, so I don't know if this was a kit or somebody made it for him, or whatever it was, and there's the other bit. This this is the board that goes in the back, so the tyre's underneath it and just rests on it, but he's got this 
uh, disconnect on it, which really is a bit of a silly place to put it. I suppose you could put it in the boot, but it, you can see as you get knocked about, so maybe I'll find somewhere else. And he's got a big, huge fuse on it. So we'll use that again. But now, obviously, because I put these, because it's a side opening boot, I'm going to have to uh, open the wood up for these gussets here. And then so it fits in. And then obviously you can see the back of the original seat. The chances are we probably won't use that original seat because um, I need something that will fold up. Let me just shut this, just shut this boot down. So, yeah, so she's coming on. Um, I'll let you have a look on this side so you can see what's going on. You can see, unfortunately what's happened is a, um, those plastic lugs have broken there. Yeah, it must have been in transit, so I'll get him to send me some new ones out because there's a cover goes all the way over there. But they're gorgeous seats, they look great. Really impressed with them. And I'll show you the... That door still shuts as well. Um, I'll show you how the mock-up of the dashboard is going to look. So we've been working on all this today. But you can see how nice that's going to look with the, with the gauges in it. And, and obviously that'll be on the... I don't know if I can kind of line it up a bit for you. Can you imagine what that's going to look like when it's all done? I can't really. Hang on. I'll take that bit off. But something like, something like that, I guess. So it's going to look pretty nice when it's finished. Obviously the Astro's got to go back in here. And we just did these today. So these are the original black ones. You can see them. We just recovered them with the stuff I got from Newton Commercials. So... Yeah, so it's going to look nice. And they fit in really. It's come. It's gone on really well. And we haven't clipped it in place yet. That's just uh, with um, glue on it. You know, spray glue. It's this stuff here. Um, it's good. Good stuff. There's contact adhesive, Patex. I don't know if it's German or not. But anyway, um, yeah. So still got quite a few things to put in. Uh, there's the ones for the uh, sides. This is all going to go in, all the matting underneath. Um, so there's still a few, quite a few bits and pieces to go in yet. There's the other. But these are nice that they've made for me. They've made them with this black, I'll put that down, with this black edging on it. And they we're going to do it in carpet. I said, no, we'll do it in vinyl because you tend to do it in a scuff that with your foot when you're getting in and out. Um, and you can see here that the side ones are just as nice and beautiful uh, they fit gorgeously the carpet is just superb um, oh, I've actually forgot to show you that so I meant to point that out to you I'll go over me 10 minutes uh, if you look at this carpet and this is the difference I guess you know at the end of the day um, I've got the torch handy ah, yeah. okay if it'll work will it work yeah okay you can see there just how nice that tunnel is and that and what they've done is is they and it's not even it's just laid in there you can see it's not even in properly um, but you can see what they've done is they've molded uh, the tunnels and uh, uh, and the back piece the bit for the you can see there look I don't know, is that going to show up yeah you see how it's molded so it fits beautifully, you know, I mean this really, really is a bugger on a cheap nasty carpet set. So once all this is in tomorrow, uh, get the seats in properly, put these in, and then the dash. So hopefully by, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or the next day, we'll, uh, we'll have it in and ready. But she went beautiful, I mean she drives really well. Uh, gotta, gotta do the steering, obviously steering jump is way out. But even so, it's... Uh, it runs beautifully and uh, it's got a s serious amount of power in it. God knows what it'll be like when that new uh, Alden Yellow distributor comes. Mind you, 170 quid, it should be good. But are there for uh, plus A engines, performance engines or, or uh, um, cam changes and so on. So it's got a better curve on it. But 170 pounds, a lot of money. But I've gone this far. So anyway, so that's it for tonight, lads. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it um, give you a bit of preview but yeah it was great take care and bye for now bye